So hello, my goal is to to push optical technologies as the next platform imaging modality within the cardiac electrophysiology laboratory. Cardiovascular disease is the number one cause of death within the United States. And although the rates of deaths are starting to decrease, it still remains a large burden in the United States and all over the world. And because of this, we do need to continue to develop technologies to improve our therapeutic procedures in addition to assessing staging of disease. Some of these new technologies are the use of catheter-based um, procedures, which are starting to replace open-heart surgeries. And this could range from implanting stents to open up cor coronary arteries to obtaining biopsies of the ventricular muscle to assess whether or not a transplant has rejected. Another technique is shown in the figure, which is radiofrequency ablation therapy. Here, catheters are inserted into the heart First, to detect if there are abnormal rhythms. Once that abnormal rhythm is detected, energy is delivered, which restores the patient to normal rhythm. And as you could imagine, with these catheter-based procedures, a view of the heart is no longer available to the physician. And so because of this, real-time x-ray is the standard method for the physician to do image guidance during their catheter-based procedures. And what we could see from these uh, fluoroscopic images are the catheters that are inserted into the heart, but we actually don't have a view of the heart or where we're delivering energy. And so I want to address that unmet need by using optical imaging to provide a view of the heart to the physician. So optics has traditionally not been a method to visualize the heart because the properties of blood limits its ability to interrogate the tissue beneath. And so taking from the cues of the design of the radiofrequency ablation catheter, I designed a forward viewing catheter that images while in contact with the myocardium. And with this, we demonstrated the first real-time imaging of the myocardium using optical coherence tomography, in addition to visualizing dynamic changes within the tissue due to energy delivery. And furthermore, the high resolution provided by optical imaging allows us to interrogate the archi architectural structure of the heart, which directly correlates to the electrical function. So my name is Christine Fleming. I'm an assistant professor at Columbia University, and I'm also the principal investigator of the Structure, Function, and Imaging Laboratory. Thank you. Thank you.